So I don't know about you, but when I'm planning a sewing make, I very rarely consider my current wardrobe. This has caused such a problem for me because I've got no clothes that really go together. So moving forward, I want to be a lot more intentional about the clothes that I'm making. And I thought to myself, if I need some help with this, then maybe you do too. So I've done my research and today I'm going to bring you a full capsule wardrobe of free sewing patterns that are size inclusive and if you stay to the very end I've got something special to share with you in the way of another video with lots more free patterns so let's get into it so as mentioned I'm going to share 10 free sewing patterns with you all the links will be down below and also there'll be timestamps as well just so that you can flip between the patterns if you so wish so let's get into the patterns. The first pattern I want to share with you will work well as a transitional piece as we go from summer into autumn. And actually you could wear this all year round. So that is the Green Tea by Green Style Patterns. Green Style Patterns are a company that concentrate on active wear in the main. I haven't used them myself but I know they are popular and they've got a good reputation. So they've released this basic tea for free. To be honest, there's lots and lots of teas out there on the market and they're much the same. I just picked this one purely because I haven't spoken about it before on the vlog and I thought it might help some of you. So this is, as I say, this is a basic tea. It comes with either a scoop neck, which I love, or a v-neck, and I really quite like the v-neck on this one as well. It also comes with long and short sleeves, and that's basically all it is. It comes to your high hip. It also comes in at the waist and gives a lovely shape. There's lots of examples on the website. Of, so in order to make this, you will want a lightweight jersey. I would prefer one with a full waist stretch just because when you're moving around, it's good to have stretch going vertically and horizontally. But you could probably get away with just horizontally. This pattern is very beginner friendly. Anyone who's made anything could give this a go. And this would be a great first pattern for knit fabrics. So they label their sizes from a B to an M. And the upper size measurements for that are a 61 bust, a 57 waist and a 62 hip. So that's a nice size range there. Now, when you go on the website, it may look like that you have to pay for this pattern, but actually you can go to their Facebook group, join the group, and you will be given a code. So make sure to do that if you want to get this pattern for free. So the next pattern I'm going to share with you also works as a transitional piece. And to be honest, I wear this all year round, and that is some leggings. So it's the 20K leggings, from Max and Mina Patterns. So they released this pattern as a celebration for reaching 20K members over on their Facebook group. So you do need to go over to their Facebook group, grab the code in order to get this one for free as well. To be honest, a lot of the patterns that I'm talking about today, you will need to do that for. So this is a basic leggings pattern. There's lots of them on the market now, which is fantastic. So this one comes in three lengths and has three waistband options. So there's quite a few options to choose from, depending on what suits your personal style and what sort of comfort you like yourself. So the type of fabric you'll need to use for this is something like cotton lycra, or something very similar to cotton lycra, and it will definitely need a four way stretch because leggings need to stretch that way and that way for ultimate comfort. This will be an advanced beginner pattern. As long as you've sewn a few different knit fabrics before, then you should be absolutely fine with this pattern. Sewing pants or leggings or anything, that trousers, that sort of thing, super, super easy. The sewing of the pattern isn't the difficult bit. It can be the fitting. But because leggings have got a lot of stretch in them, they're very, very forgiving. So you will be able to make this no problems at all. So this company comes with a misses range and a women's range and goes up to 5XL. So the actual measurements for the upper range are so a 51.5 inch waist and a 62.5 hip. Quite early on in my YouTube channel, I did produce a video where I showed you how to self-draft leg patterns. That's absolutely not necessary now because people are releasing 
free patterns but if you did want to create some based off of the leggings that you already own then check that video out which I will leave a link for down below. So I've done a few transitional pieces there that will move us from summer into autumn and now as we get more into the cooler months I'm going to bring you a top that may be quite interesting to you. So this top is called the slouchy top and it's by So Different. It's also in conjunction with Stitches TV. So if you know Stitches TV, they've got a huge YouTube channel. They're somehow involved. So I think the design might have come from the lady at Stitches TV. So this top is absolutely lovely. It's got a dropped shoulder. I love a dropped shoulder because then you don't have to worry about fitting the actual shoulders because I've always got according to patterns I've got a small shoulder a dropped shoulder is fantastic and I always really enjoy sewing them and it's got a sleeve added onto it but in the sleeve it has some gathers which gives it a little bit more of a puffy look which is really really nice and it does also have gathers in the wrist as well this pattern will take a two-way fabric which means it stretches just horizontally but I think you will get a little bit better of a look and feel if you use a four way and I the only reason I say that is because where it's got a drop shoulder you will get some fabric collected here and if it's a four way it will fall better or drape better and look better on you it will also feel more comfortable for you. So what I like about this pattern is it's a basic pattern. It can be adapted in many, many ways. If you wanted to add additional style lines, change it up, add colour blocking, that sort of thing, you could do all those things quite easily because it is such a basic bodice. I actually envision adding a ruffle skirt to it and I think that would make a lovely tunic. So the sizing for this pattern goes up to a size 26. So the upper measurements for that are 50 and a quarter inch bust, 44 waist and 52 and a half inch hip. Now that's a little tiny bit smaller than me but not much and it would be easily adaptable by adding just a little bit to the four sides of the pattern. As we're getting into the cooler days and we're edging closer towards Christmas, I can't believe I've just said the C word, but we are getting closer and closer now. When I wear a skirt, which as you guys know is quite rare, I want it to be longer because I need it to keep my legs warm. Nothing worse than feeling that chill on your bare legs in the evening if you're out and about. So I wanted to look for a longer skirt. Initially, I was looking for a maxi skirt, but I didn't come across a free one that I liked. But I did find a wrap skirt by Peppermint Pattern. It comes to midi length, which I hear midi length is going to be all the rage if you're into trends and stuff. So this pattern is really on trend for the autumn. It's a straight wrap skirt. It comes three quarter length. So as I say, that's a midi length. So it sits on your natural waist. It has waist ties and you do a buttonhole in order to thread the waist tie through to tie it up. I made a wrap skirt, which was the Fior by Closet Case, which I'm still yet to vlog about. But I did that last year and it was such a simple make. So if you're a beginner, you'll have absolutely no problems making this up. So in terms of fabrics that you can use for this, you've got more choice here because you can use something lightweight like a viscose or a rayon. Or you could use something more heavyweight such as a denim, a twill, a linen. Um, you know, the world is your oyster. There's so many things. You just want it to have some stability, but you want it to have a little bit of drape as well. This pattern was drafted by In The Folds, who have done loads and loads of patterns for Peppermint Magazine. And In The Folds, I've bought patterns from them in the past. They have a very good drafting. So you will not go wrong with this pattern. And even if you did, it would be so, so easy to adapt. So sizing for this pattern is an A to a J. And the upper size measurements are so a waist of 45 and 5 eighths and a hip of 54 and 3 quarters. So this pattern comes in a little bit smaller than my own measurements, which are a 46 waist and a 56 hip. Only a little bit, so I wouldn't even increase the pattern. I probably would just loosen the ties a little bit and it'll look fine. But if you wanted to increase the pattern, you could just add a little bit to each of the four sides. 
I don't know about you, but as we get further into autumn, I want clothes that are going to cling and keep me warm. So the next pattern I've got to share with you is a dress and it will do exactly that. It's called the Flare Top and Dress and it's by Wolf and the Tree. This is a pattern company I hadn't heard of before. I've only just come across them. So this pattern also comes with a drop shoulder and it has a slight back wing under the arm, which I really like. I remember back in the 80s when I was a child and the adults were all wearing really extreme back wings, like from your wrist down to your waist, there was a complete and utter back wing and I'm just waiting for them to come back in and I'm wondering if they are heading back in now. Fingers crossed. So this dress also has a waistband piece, which is great because that will give extra stability to your dress. I think when you have a dress that's all in knit and this is a knit pattern, they do have a tendency to drop because of the weight of the fabric. So if you've got seam lines in the middle, which in this case is a waistband, that's gonna add some extra stability to your dress and it will make it last longer in my eyes. This is another garment that is completely versatile. It's, apart from the waistband in the middle, it's a pretty plain dress, so you could do what you want with it. This would work as either loungewear or something a little bit more formal, like going to the office. It really depends on the fabric you use, as with every pattern out there. So for this pattern, you'll want knits and you'll want a 25% stretch. I would say that due to the bat wing, you would need a 4X. So you'll want it to go both ways. Why am I doing this? You want it to go horizontally and vertically. This is another dress that is super easy. Beginners could definitely give this a go. The pattern only has three pattern pieces, which is fantastic. So sizing for this pattern goes from an extra small up to a 5XL. So the upper measurements for this dress are a 57.5 bust, a 49.5 waist and a 59.5 hip and that's all in inches. So the next pattern I'm going to share with you is a pants pattern or trousers if you're in the UK. So this will go with either the top or the tee or you could even wear the dress as a tunic. The pants pattern I've chosen is the Barb's Pants by Style Arc. So in order to get this pattern, you do need to sign up for their newsletter. I did that and it came through straight away, no problems. You have to choose the size you want. So like with normal style art patterns now, they tend to offer multi-size patterns. But for this free pattern, you do need to pick your size and you get the size you choose plus the smaller size and the next size up. So that if you need to grade between sizes, you can do. But you can only grade between one side, either side. So you'll need to consider that when getting this pattern. So these are just some close fitting pants. They've actually redrafted them to make them a little bit closer fitting, but they're still fairly loose. You're going to need a stretch fabric for these. They do recommend you use Bengaline. I've not ever used that fabric. Because it's a free pattern, there wasn't an awful lot of information available on this pattern. I looked on the website and I also looked in the actual pattern itself. Style Arc are not one for giving loads and loads of instructions. So if you are new to sewing, this may not be the pattern for you if you need instructions to follow because they are very minimal. You could wear these trousers every day. You could, as I say, you could wear them with lots of different types of top and they would work well for the office as well as just going to the shops or doing whatever you want to do in your life even sitting around at home because they're a knit fabric they will be super super comfortable so this pattern goes from a size 4 up to a size 30 and the upper limits are 50.5 waist and a 61 hip so if this is your first pants pattern then this will be fantastic because it has an elasticated waistband so the fitting will be easy the only issue as i say is the instructions but if you know what you're doing then you can go ahead so to go along with the autumn pieces that i've given you so far i wanted to add some layering pieces as we get into the darker days layering pieces will become more and more important depending where you live if you're in a sunny place such as texas or somewhere like that you may not need layering pieces but i know certainly me in the south of england i do need layering pieces in fact i wear them most of the year 
apart from like this two week heat wave we're having. So I wanted to find some sort of scarf because I often wear scarves and they're not heavy. They're usually made out of like chiffon or georgette or something like that. But just a cover up for around my neck to keep the worst of the wind away. And so I went onto the Pearl Solo website and they had instructions on their web page for creating a scarf and they do it in a gauze fabric which is really light and airy but you could do it in any fabric you wanted the pattern's very very simple i think it's just like a triangle that you cut out and you sew it together and then you have yourself a scarf and i think that can really escalate any pattern or any style of clothing that you're wearing so say you had a long t-shirt with some leggings on you could just throw a scarf over and you would be good to go. So as I was looking for free patterns, I searched high and low for a denim jeans pattern that was free. But the problem is that pattern would be quite involved to create. And so no one has actually given one for free that I could find. If you know where one is, do let me know down below. Jeans would be perfect, but I sadly cannot include them in this collection. If I did, they would go perfect with the next garment that I'm going to show you. But you can wear this with leggings or with trousers as well. And that's the Adult Basic Sweater by Peekaboo Patterns. So in order to get this pattern for free, you will need to join their Facebook group. All links will be down below. So this pattern, normally with this type of garment, you might see it as a raglan, but this isn't a raglan. So if you're not a fan of raglans, this sweater is the sweater for you. It just has a set in sleeve, has a kangaroo pocket. You can add either a hoodie or a crew neck. It's up to you and you'll have cuffs and a band. That would be great for colour blocking and this is a unisex pattern. So you can make it for the man in your life or you could make it for yourself as well. I would say this is a beginner easy pattern that anyone could make really. In terms of fabric, you'll want something either medium weight or on the heavier weight knits. So perhaps like a French terry or sweatshirt in fabric, they might work well. Um, or maybe a ponty would work as well. You just need something with a bit of structure, a bit of warmth that's going to keep you warm as you wear this. Sizing for this goes up to a 3XL and that is a chest of 56. So the next layering piece that I want to share with you is a cardigan and it's perhaps my favourite pattern out of all the patterns I'm going to mention today and that's just because the style of it. So this is the Aspen Cardigan by Hot Patterns. So you can't actually buy this on their website. I found it I think on some other website but the link will be down below and you just directly download it. So it's an open cardigan, meaning it doesn't have any closures here, but it does come together. It has a slightly raised waistline and incorporates a lovely gathered skirt onto it. And I just think that's really, really lovely. That's the sort of cardi that I might extend the length a little bit and wear it with leggings. I think it would be really nice, but you could wear it with the pants as well, or even the skirt if you wanted. This is a semi-fitted pattern and for this you are going to want a light to medium weight, not too heavy, not too light um, and that's because you need it to have a little bit of weight to hold its shape properly but you also want it to be not too heavy because you've got gathers and the gathers will stick out too much if they're too heavy. So in terms of complexity, it says this is an advanced beginner pattern and I would agree with that. I think if you've done one or two knit patterns before, then you could definitely give this a go. It wouldn't be difficult and it would look absolutely fantastic on you. So this pattern goes up to a size 26 and has a bust of 52. The waist and the hips don't matter so much because it has got gathers down there and so it will fit you anyway there'll be lots and lots of room so I've got one more pattern to share with you and this is a really really good one this is called the Calmia Jacket by Mood Fabrics you may or you may not be aware that on the Mood Fabrics website they've got hundreds and hundreds of free patterns some really stylish on-trend patterns so do have a look through them over there I think you just have to search for them in the blog post and they come up. I haven't made any of their patterns up myself, but I have heard the instructions are a little on the thin side. 
they do have some picture instructions taking you through it but they're not very full um, so just be aware of that so this is a jacket pattern and it's essentially it's a coat it's very similar to the opium coat by dear and doe now i did make that and i did a video about that right at the beginning of my channel i wasn't a huge fan of that coat but do go and have a watch of that video if you want it will give you a good idea of the construction that this one takes so it's kind of like a swing coat well not kind of it is a swing coat it has a nice full circle skirt on it and it cinches in at the waist it also has a shawl collar now shawl collars can be a little bit complex to make if the instructions in this coat do confuse you there's loads and loads of shawl collar patterns out there and when i was making a shawl collar a while ago i found some great tutorials on youtube so do search for that so this pattern takes loads and loads of fabric it takes eight yards in total and that's five yards for the outer shell and three yards for the lining so you just need to be aware of that but i think it's an absolute stunner of a pattern if you want to make it in terms of fabrics for this pattern you want something a little bit heavier weight so maybe a canvas would work well a twill a drill something like that maybe even a denim or a leather you or even a faux leather you could make it with in terms of the size range it goes from a us 2 to 30 and the upper limits are 58.5 bust 49.5 waist and 63 hip in terms of complexity i would say this is an intermediate pattern you will want to have made a coat before you attempt this one and that's mainly because of the shawl collar but otherwise it's just simple steps but a lot of them so that's all the free patterns i'm sharing with you today but do not go anywhere because in a minute i'm going to tell you how to get some more but i just want to take a moment to say that this is a capsule wardrobe so i've shown one of each type of garment and they can be mixed and matched and you can make infinite number of outfits with that so you could probably, I haven't done the maths, but you could probably do like 50, 60 different outfits with that, depending on all the bits that you use and the bits you didn't use and what have you. You know what I'm saying. So if you want to get some more free patterns, do click this video here. That's by my good friend Alicia. She's also released a video of free patterns today. So do go and check out her video because she's got different patterns to me. If you like this video and want to see more like it do hit the subscribe button down below you can also support me on ko-fi until next time bye for now